Hey there Capricorn, welcome back. This is from May. And today we're going to take a look at your next three months. What is going on in the next three months? What's coming forward? What you can expect? Okay, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements okay make sure to stick around to the end where i will be pulling an angel number for you and we're going to look at its meaning also you can go ahead and research that angel number to find out your particular meaning in that number okay so let's take a look what's going on for capricorn messages for capricorn oh my goodness we've got two Okay, so we have healer of action, okay? So um, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. Okay? And we also have the Eight of Thoughts. You may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Okay, so I feel like, you know, there's things going on with you right now, uh, Capricorn. I feel like, you know, you have actions that you want to take, but I feel like you're holding yourself back. There's something keeping you stuck in this situation. Even though you know you got things to do, there's something that is holding you back. There's something that's restricting you from taking action. So I feel like this in this three-month period, that's something that you really want to look into. That's something that you really want to work on. Because I feel like this action, this action needs to that needs to be taken is going to bring in great things. Okay, but like this card says, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. Okay, so I feel like you have to be open to being able to take action. And um, you are able to do that. You know, you have every um, personality characteristic that you need to get yourself moving to put something into action stop holding yourself back you know stop restricting yourself you know if it's confidence that you're looking for you know look for ways to gain that confidence work on your your inner self work on that inner child on growing but i feel like there's something holding you back okay so we need to take a look at that Okay, hey Capricorn, uh, let's get some more energy for you, please. What else do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we have declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well okay so this is a time to release things okay i feel like in this next three month period i feel like this is a time for you to release uh, you may want to declutter your space declutter your home remove the things that you no longer need that you no longer use and donate those things give those things away you know let someone else enjoy something that you're just letting just accumulate Okay, um, and I feel like, you know, decluttering your life in general, maybe freeing up your schedule, uh, finding little time slots here or there is going to be very helpful as well. 
Um, but yeah, this is a time for releasing so that you can get better things, you know, better and, you know, have a better situation, a more healthy and more um, personalized situation. Okay. And I feel like, you know, the things that may be holding you back may be just the stuff that is cluttering your life. Okay, that may be what's holding you back. Maybe you're trying to find time to do something or you're trying to take action on something and you feel like there's so many other things that you need to do because things are just accumulating around you. Okay, so let's get some more energy for Capricorn. Okay, we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so it's time to step out of that fear and replace that with growth. Okay, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So it's time to kind of do that exchange. Exchange the fear for some kind of growth in your life. Okay, something that you're not seeing but is really there for you to grasp okay let's get some more energy for capricorn oh okay okay we have two coming out we have a soulmate and wisdom so i feel like in this next three months there may be a very possible chance for you to meet this soulmate but I also feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom in this situation. And I feel like this may not be your first go round. Okay. So I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons through your experiences and you've gained a lot of wisdom. You're, you know, trying to figure out the path that you're going on next. Okay. And I feel like, you know, that will become clear. We'll try to take a look at the possibilities for you Capricorn okay first off we're going to go ahead and take a look at what you may be releasing in the next three months to make room for better possibilities for to put you in a better position to release things for your greater good okay so what you're releasing let's take a look at what Capricorn is releasing this next three months what is Capricorn releasing spirit? Give me a message. Okay. Look at this. The eight of the eight of swords. Now we have the eight of swords up here. This is what's this is what's binding you. Something's holding you back. But I, here we see that you're being released from that energy. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Capricorn. So you are releasing yourself from this self-imposed bondage around you. Okay, I'm loving this. Look at this at the bottom. Uh, a new adventure, a new journey, new beginning. This is a fresh start. Okay, so you're taking that leap of faith. Um, you're putting more time into yourself and not into the things around you. Okay, you're taking time to really enjoy the things that make you happy. Okay, I'm loving this so far. Okay, let's take a look, Capricorn. So now we see that, okay, you're finally releasing yourself from whatever is keeping you stuck. And if you see this, I'm, this is the after tarot. So I feel like there's someone here to help you. There's someone here to step in and kind of give you some assistance here to help you get unstuck. Maybe you have support. Maybe there's someone around you being a cheerleader, you know, rooting you on. But I feel like you're able to view these lessons around you and you're able to gently move in the right direction. And I say gently because I feel like this is slow moving. This is something you're taking your time doing, but you are freeing yourself from whatever it is that is keeping you tied down. Okay. And I feel like you are gaining your balance. You're taking your time and you're, you're really feeling things out. 
before you're able to take action. And I feel like this is, you know, you going through these motions and a blessing coming out from the being able to take advantage of being unstuck. Okay, there's something happening here. There's a blessing that's unfolding. There's something that you may not be seeing. But I feel like it's all starting because you were able to release yourself from this. Okay, and you know, we see here with the King of Wands, we had the healer of action. Okay, so this is Wands. This is, I believe, the Queen of Wands, the healer of Wands. The healer of action okay so i feel like you know you're able to take action you're able to slowly adapt to your situation you're taking the inspired actions that you need to take you're becoming more confident you're becoming more inspired by someone around you there's someone around you that's rooting you on that's giving you some kind of help and i feel like that's giving you a lot of confidence to take on whatever this is that you need to do. But I feel like that action that you needed to kind of move yourself to do, I feel like you're doing that. You know, you're taking the action that you need to take. So that's beautiful. So no matter how long it takes you within this next three months, just taking the step to be unstuck and taking little actions will actually help you out. Okay, it's not something that may you may do, you know, overnight, but I feel like this is a gradual releasing and I feel like you're taking the inspired action that you need to take. So I feel like this is this is really growth here. Okay, okay, let's take a look at what may be challenging you in the next three months. What is challenging Capricorn? What challenges? do they need to overcome okay we have the page of cups we have the three of wands Ooh, the ace of wands and the five of cups okay at the bottom we have the two of swords so i feel like your challenge is going to be some of the choices that you need to make i feel like some of these choices may be a little bit more difficult than others and at one point, I feel like you're sitting back and you're waiting for someone else to decide. But um, I, I feel like, you know, it's a challenge for you to really take the initiative and really put a lot of thought and effort into these choices that you make. Because I feel like these choices are going to be dependent on the blessings that are going to come within this next three months. Okay, so I feel like these choices or decisions that you need to make are very important. You may be at a crossroads. You may have two paths to choose from, but I feel like, you know, you need to make a choice. Will you go in this direction or will you go um, to the right here? Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, I feel like you know, your challenge is there's an offer on the table. There's someone who is offering you some kind of uh, cup that's very unexpected. Something is coming in and I feel like it's going to be a big surprise. You know, it's something that you may not have thought was possible. And I feel like it has you really looking at the possibilities. It has you looking towards making more decisions for the future. It, it may be something that was delayed. Something that you didn't think was possible is now available. And now is being viewed as a challenge because it may not be the right time for you at the moment to make a decision on this possibility. Okay? But I feel like, you know, just going with the flow of the situation... Um, this, this may be the decision that you need to make. This may be that difficult choice that you need to pursue in order to soar, in order to take flight, okay? In order to move into this next three months. Um, but I feel like it has you soul searching 
it has you really looking into the possibilities, looking into what can be instead of what was. Okay, because we see the the Ace of Wands and the Five of Cups. So I feel like there's a huge possibility here. There's something big coming in, something that's going to change um, your situation, something that is going to give you an inspired. You're going to want to take some kind of inspired action towards what is coming. Okay, this may be a new job of a new idea, um, but I feel like big changes are coming for you in the next three months. And I feel like it's moving you from where you were to where you're going to be. Okay, um, this is the Five of Cups. This is, you know, he's grieving over some cups that were lost, but he still see the, sees these two very important cups that are full okay and so I feel like you know this is taking you to another situation to another possibility maybe even to another destination because all he has to do is to cross that bridge and he's home okay and he's not even noticing this person in the river who's floating down calling for help, you know? So, and I, I feel like there's something that may need your attention that you may not be expecting. Um, there's something that's keeping you distracted for some reason, but I feel like, you know, all you need to do is to focus on what the possibilities are with these two cups that you have. Okay, there's more than one possibility here. That may be the choices. But I feel like there's big changes coming around for you. I want to dive a little deeper into what your challenges are. Um, so let's take a look. What is challenging Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn this next three months? What is going on with Capricorn? Let's get a message. Look at this, the Five of Cups again, definitely. There's something that you need to focus on. And now the Five of Cups can also be a card of gratitude. You know, not thinking about what is lost, but being thankful for what you have. And I feel like, you know, that may be a challenge for you to really focus on what is left in your life that makes you happy and not the past, what is lost. You know, you may have lost something that really meant a lot to you in the past. And now it's hard for you to move on because you're thinking like you lost these cups here. You're not really looking at what is left that is also bringing you happiness, okay? Uh, or the possibilities. You know, you may have great possibilities in these two cups. So there's no need to worry about these three cups that are gone that you know aren't coming back so not dwelling on things of the past not dwelling on things that you lost is a is a big challenge for you and i feel like you know by overcoming those challenges you're going to move forward at a better pace you're going to have growth and something is going to inspire you to keep moving to pursue something that, that is going to make you happy. This is also a card of travel. So there may be travel in your plan in your in your plans um, for the next three months. So, so something is coming forward. There's something that is being offered to you that you need to take notice of. Okay? So, Capricorn, now let's take a look at what is blessing you the next three months. What kind of blessings are Capricorn going to receive the next three months? What's going on? What can they expect? Okay, the Magician, beautiful. The Eight, no, the Seven of Pentacles, okay. The Queen of Wands, we have the King of Wands. Wow, if you're open to love. There may be love here for you, okay? And we have the Four of Cups, okay? At the bottom, we have the King of Swords. So, Capricorn, I feel like, 
you know, you are getting more clarity on a situation. Things are becoming more clear. You're able to fully understand something and really take authority on something. Okay. Um, I feel like with this King of Swords energy, you're really taking the lead. Um, you're no longer sitting back behind this Eight of Swords here. You're taking the lead. You're taking the initiative. And this is like putting your plans into action, okay? Because we have the King of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this is really putting your plans into action, okay? There's something that you're manifesting. Something is coming forward for you. And I feel like you're, you're ready to harvest the fruits of your labor, okay? There's something that you're manifesting and you have everything that you need to manifest what it is that you want. And look how beautiful this garden is. So I feel like what you're manifesting and the pinnacles, what you're manifesting may be your true abundance. Maybe something that is going to bring you more income, more increase, more, you know, livelihood here. Okay. Um, but I feel like the next three months you're working on this. You're manifesting this. You're ready to harvest what it is that you put all this effort into. And I feel like you finally have a new drive. You finally have new inspiration, a new confidence to get things done. You're adapting to your situation. You're finding yourself very passionate, very loving, very caring. And like I said, I feel like there may be love coming in for you because we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, both very passionate, very fiery. Um, very sexual as well. So I feel like, you know, you're working on some kind of situation. You may also be working on your appearance to make yourself feel better, you know, to boost your confidence, boost your ego. There may be some changes that you're making because I feel like with this Four of Cups, I feel like it's out with the old and in with the new. You know, there's something that you're pouring out of so that you can take advantage of something new that's right in front of you. Okay, so I feel like this is something that you're releasing so that the universe is gifting you with a bigger, better offer, a bigger, better gift. Okay, so this is beautiful. I love this blessing that's coming out for you. We're going to go ahead and clarify this blessing a bit more so that we can get more information. Um, I'm really getting this could be a new job, a new title, um, some kind of promotion. But I feel like it's abundance. I feel like you're winning something. Okay, this is a win. Um very interesting. Give me more messages for Capricorn. The King of Swords again. Yeah, you're becoming clear. You're taking authority. You're looking at all your options and you're reaping the rewards. Wow. And we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom. This is wish fulfillment. This is having everything that you need, everything that you want. So this is something that you've been working very hard for, that you've been manifesting and pu really putting in that time. Um, but I feel like a lot of things are becoming more clear. You are not taking no for an answer. Whatever this is, I mean, you're out to get things done. You are stuck on... Um, the way you see it is the way it has to be. You know, you're very stern. You're very authoritative on this. That you want things done in a particular way. And you kind of, you're demanding that. Okay? And I do feel like there are some options on the table. Not all of these options are good options. But I feel like the, with the choices that you need to make, I feel like you'll make the right decision. Okay, but do know that all of these choices, anything that's bright and shiny may not be gold. Okay, so, um, but I, I feel like, you know, with these options, one of these options is going to bring you prosperity. One of these options is going to bring you a big blessing, a big abundance, some big 
a win here, okay? Um, and I feel like this is going to help you be overjoyed in this situation because this is new. Look at this. We have uh, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. This is new energy coming forward. This is new ideas, new creative ventures, taking action. And this is you reaping your reward for the efforts and the action that you were taking. Okay? So I feel like there's increase on the way. And I feel like it's coming very soon. It's something that's going to be um, very sought out. Okay, I feel like you've put a, a lot of thought and energy into whatever this blessing is. But this is something that you've been working on, something that you wish for. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on for Capricorn in love. What can Capricorn expect in love, please? Give me a message. We already see this King and Queen of Wands, so let's see. Okay, we have a mask, not showing true feelings, hiding, personify, pretend, prelude, and gaslighting. So with this mask, I feel like someone's not letting you know exactly how they feel. Someone has more feelings for you than they want to, than they want to tell. You know, someone's like a secret admirer, someone's not being giving you the full disclosure here okay we also have not today not dealing hurt avoiding conversation call person boundaries and still angry so <laughs> okay so i feel like your person is back and forth they're back and forth i feel like you know during this three month period there may be no contact with this person there may be a lot of conflicts um because i feel like you're busy I feel like you're very busy, Capricorn. So it's like you're you're trying to find time for love, but I feel like you kind of see things that are more important, which is kind of hard to say. But um, I feel like you're growing. You're growing in the situation. Maybe you're out there meeting new people. Maybe you're out there um, trying to find your soulmate. Because I feel like there's a soulmate situation here. But I feel like that's coming forward. That may not come within this three months. But I feel like it's very close. Okay. Let's take a look at the messages. Let's see what messages are going to come out for Capricorn. But I'm really getting that, you know, the person that you may be dealing with, I feel like there's, there's some kind of feelings. That are kind of blocking you at the moment. Um, could be you. Could be them. You know. Um, but I feel like you have. You have the need to find your soulmate. Okay. Um, let's get some messages for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Okay. We have. Ask and you shall receive. Wow. Okay. You need to heal. Okay. We have, I know the unknown is scary, but you are ready. Wow. Okay. You may not have all the answers, but I feel like maybe it's you holding yourself back. Okay. We have, okay, I can't pull this out. We have good luck. Okay, so something's coming forward. Like I said, I feel this is a win. Okay, and we have letting go of the past. I'm going to pull one more. So I feel like you're holding on to something from the past, Capricorn. There's something that you're holding on to that you just um, may not want to release. They were not the one. Okay, so the person that you're having so much conflict with, they may not be the one. They may not be your soulmate. Um, but I feel like your soulmate is still out there searching for you, okay? And we have listened to your inner voice. Um, we ha also have miracles are occurring. Okay, so that's what I have for you in love. Those are the messages. 
So let's go ahead and get your Manifestation Moonology card. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Okay, there's a few of them that want to come out. We have embraced the flow of life. Full moon in Gemini. It may be a Gemini that you're dealing with. We also have full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. Okay. So I feel like if, if you're not sure on where the future lies, of course, none of us do. But, you know, take a look at the big, bigger picture. See where you want to be. Fully envision that. Manifest that. Be firm on what you want okay we also have full moon and scorpio breathe through the tension okay whatever conflicts that are you're going through um i feel like that will help you okay let's go ahead and get some angel cards for capricorn some angel cards for capricorn please okay we have spiritual growth and I feel like you're going through some kind of spiritual growth at this time. It, spirit wants to let you know if you have a question, the answer is yes. Okay? And you also have angelic protection. So you're being protected at this time. Okay? So that's beautiful energy for you, Capricorn. Because I feel like spirit is letting you know that while you're growing through this time you are being divinely guided and protected okay let's go ahead and take a look at some more oracles for capricorn what does capricorn need to know okay we have soul flame see what i said your your soul flame is out there rediscover a lost part of yourself experience relationship harmony and healing Okay, so your twin flame, your soulmate is still out there. We also have trust in heaven. You're safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow miracles to occur. Oh my goodness, I love when this happens. I love when this, when this happens. Archangel Michael is providing you protection. Okay, um... Let's take a look at your angel number. What do the angels want to tell you? What is Capricorn's angel number, please? A number for Capricorn. Okay, we have one, two, three. Vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that you, as you stay the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Okay? Your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So that is your angel number, uh, Capricorn. So if this reading resonates... Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon, rising, Venus. Okay, I have those in a playlist. And I hope this helps, Capricorn. Um, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.